Let's take you to five things you need to know for today. The Genesee County Health Department says there's an increase in whooping cough cases, 31 cases so far. The cause is very contagious. It can be dangerous for babies and young kids. Health officials say you could protect yourself and others by getting the vaccine and washing your hands. Today, the city of Saginaw is asking for your opinion on the new Riverfront Park. Park is part of a planned medical diamond between Water Street and Washington Avenue. First session is 11 to 2 at SVRC. The second is 4.30 to 6.30 at We Love Saginaw Businesses Trunk or Treat at Celebration Park. You can also fill out that survey online in the hot link section of WNEM.com. A federal court in Michigan dismissing an RNC lawsuit over voter records, which they accuse Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson and the Bureau of Elections Director Jonathan Brader of failing to maintain accurate voter registration records. The judge says Republicans provided no evidence in the challenge. My career quest happening today at the Door Financial Center, offering high school students the chance to explore multiple careers. It's limited to kids from Genesee County, Huron, Lapeer, Tanalock, Shiawassee, and Tuscola counties, too. There will be interactive exhibits and presentations from employers in high demand industries like manufacturing and IT. Halloween's next week. It wouldn't be spooky season here on TV5. Wake up without a annual haunted house tour. So it's kind of become a bit of our tradition now. This is the second year in a row that TV5 Soren Piesco has been the unlucky victim. She joins us now from Factory of the Dead. Lauren, good morning. <laughs> gotten myself into this morning, but I just keep coming back to these haunted houses year after year. We are live at Factory of the Dead in Saginaw this morning, and I've got their manager, Mia, with me. Good morning. Good morning. Mia, where are we standing now? We are standing inside of N-Virus, which is another one of our escape rooms. Um, what this one is, is a biohazard facility lab you're trying to escape from before you're infected. How exciting. There's no pressure at all, right? Oh, right, <laughs> exactly. The ambiance isn't menacing at all. And of now, course, We've got our monsters lurking around, of course. Always something to look out for. What are some of the things people should be looking for when it comes to clues? So anything that you can get into. Um, if you don't have to force it open, definitely get into it. Check everywhere you can. And how what? many escape rooms do you guys have? Um, we have four. Um, we have one coming soon, which is going to be Bunker 906. And then we have Bad Moon Rising, which is like a cabin style you're trying to escape from before the werewolf curse. Um, then we have Killer's Promise, which is like a killer's warehouse you're trying to escape from before the killer comes back. And then the one we're in is N-Virus right now, which like we said is that biohazard facility. This one is actually the least scariest of our rooms. Believe it or not. <laughs> right. It's still got that horror theme to it, but it's really not that bad. And those monsters you just saw followed us from the haunted house this morning. We got a full haunted house tour earlier. Very scary. 10 out of 10 would recommend you take a tour through it. How many more days do people have to come and check it out for themselves? So there are six more days of operation. We go Thursday through Sunday this week, and then we have Friday and Saturday of next week. Awesome. And Friday and Saturday of next week, we have Andrew Berninski here, which is Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He'll be doing pictures oh and autographs. And what days is he going to be here? He'll be here Friday and Saturday, November 1st and November 2nd. Well, if you are a classic horror movie fan, can't miss out on that, but yeah, got just lots to look forward to here. I mean, oh my gosh, they have an alien, an alien breaking through. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ian's getting sprayed by the alien. Lot, lots to look forward to, as you can see. Surprises at every corner. But you can purchase your tickets now to Factory of the Dead here in Saginaw. Check out their Maze of Madness, their Haunted House, or one of the escape rooms, which we are in right now. You can find out all that information on our website, WNEM.com. But live in Saginaw, Lauren Piesco for TV5. We're going to send it back to the studio.